Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud looming up in the west, you say at once that rain is coming, and so it does. When the wind is from the south, you say it will be hot, and it is. Hypocrites, you know how to interpret the face of the earth and the sky. How is it you do not know how to interpret these times? Why not judge for yourself what is right? For example, when you go to court with your, own, with your opponent, try to settle with him on the way. Or he may drag you before the judge and the judge hand you over to the bailiff. And the bailiff have you thrown into prison. I tell you, you will not get out till you have paid the very last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. As I already mentioned in the beginning of the Mass, today's Gospel passage invites all of us to read the signs of the time. We have seen that we are in this world. We are related with the nature. We are related with our fellow companions. And further, all the more we are in close connection with God, with Jesus. The Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. We read, that God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. My brothers and sisters, we are so loved by the love, by the God. That is why God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Not that he had many children. Not that he had many sons. The only son was sent to this world for the salvation of the world. So brothers and sisters, reflect on the love that God has towards us. Focus on the love that Jesus has for us. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is our Companion, a companion for ever. The Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 15. We read that no longer the man, the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 15, we read that we, I no longer call you as my servants. I no longer call you as my servants, you are my friends. My brothers and sisters, Jesus calls us as his friends. So I would like to say that to read the signs of the time means understand and experience the love of Jesus, the companionship of Jesus, the friendship of Jesus. God was Considered as someone who is far away from the world. Saint Thomas Aquinas exp um, uh, explained the mystery of God. And he said, God is not far away from us. He is so close to us. He is present in us, in essence, in power. And he is so close to us. He is present in each one of us, in presence and in power. My brothers and sisters, if that is the case, Jesus is so close to us, he understands us, experience the friendship and company of Jesus. 
especially i want to focus the friendship of jesus jesus had many companions many friends you see that in the gospel itself we read that he had disciples other than that other than disciples we see lazarus was a friend of jesus lazarus was a friend of jesus so in our day to day life we have to un- understand or we have to we, we we have to find out who is my real friend who is my uh, real friend what is important for in our life is that we should have a constant companion and that companion is jesus himself of course we have many of our companions many of our friends but our close companion to our heart must be always jesus himself that is why i would say that we must reflect on the friendship or company of jesus christ in our day to day life uh, some years ago i read a story it was about two soldiers two soldiers uh, they were so close during the time of war one soldier was taken into the real field to fight and he was terribly wounded and he was about to die the adult soldier who was his friend he was in the camp he knew that his friend was really wounded and he is facing death so he went and asked his superior officer the per- for the permission to visit his companion who is struggling with his life the superior officer told him it is not it is not normal in army to send people like that to visit friends who are wounded because we do not know at what time your service may be needed here and all the more this is there is no custom here but this man was crying and he said we are companions we were friends more than friends we shared our hearts then the superior officer told that is also normal in 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 the, in the army there are so many companions and since you are all far away from home some of you are so close but that doesn't mean that you can be sent to a field where someone is wounded and someone is taken to the hospital there are people there to take care of him you be here take your responsibility this man was very sad and he was pleading again and again normally it doesn't happen but the superior officer allowed him to stay uh, allowed him to go and visit his friend but he said nothing going nothing is going to happen you may be wounded in the field you may have a lot of wounds and you know the place where he is is quite far from here you have to face lot of struggles and difficulties to travel all the way from here to that place to meet your friend then he he said everything is okay i will find out my own ways i will i will try my level best i will not disturb any one of you i'll find out my own ways to reach there this man left and he went and he saw this companion he was in hospital he was terribly wounded he was bleeding he was in a real situation he understood that his face uh, he was so he was, his face was so pale and he was uh, facing death when he saw his companion his friend immediately he held his hand he held his hand and he said i knew that you would come i knew that you will come i was waiting for you i knew that you will come and maybe 10 or within 10 or 15 minutes this soldier died and his body was taken uh, by the army of officers to his home and the funeral was done there in his home and this man the soldier he could meet him only for 15 minutes or 20 minutes then his companion his friend died he came back he came back when he came back he was not that sad he was not that sad then his superior officer asked him did you meet your companion he said i met him i spoke with him i and he died 
Then he said, what, how was the experience? How did you spend time with him? He said, I could not spend much time. Only 15 or 20 minutes I spent with him. But uh, one thing I am so happy is that he was conscious. He held on my hands and he told, he told me that I was waiting for you. And he also told, I knew that you would come. Praise the Lord. My brothers and sisters, this is a picture of Jesus in our midst. Though we are wounded, we are sinners, we are far away from the Lord. The Lord will come to hold your hand and my hand to tell you that, don't worry, I am with you. My brothers and sisters, this is the company of Jesus Christ. We have so many friends in our day-to-day -day life. Some of them help us. So if some of them um, help us in a different way. When we are in good time, we have many friends. When we are in struggle, when we are in stress, when we are in difficulty, they leave us. But it is for, true for us that we have at least one or two close companions who could stand with us. But my brothers and sisters, there are times even those companions who are not able to help us in our difficulties because they are all human beings. They are all human beings. In that context, we must understand the person of Christ who is so close to us, he is able to help us. He is able to help us. You see that the whole story of Bible the Bible starts with the story of loneliness. That is why in the beginning of the Bible we read that when we speak about man and woman, he said, it's not good that man is to be alone. Everything which is related with the loneliness, every picture that is related with the loneliness is something beautiful to reflect because the presence of the Lord is there in all this time. My brothers and sisters, why I am telling it the present day where we live, lot of people are struggling, lot of people are facing, because uh, facing the difficulty of loneliness, people are struggling because they have no one to share with us. Sometimes we get lot of phone calls, lot of phone calls. And uh, sometimes we attend, sometimes, I'm sorry, we, go, we are not able to attend it because of um, a different... Um, works here but i see i have seen that in very often people uh, people when when we switch on the phone uh, just like the pouring out of words people simply speak so many things and very often i understand many people would say that we have no one to share our feelings with others we have no one here to tell our difficulties father please to pray for us in the beginning I used to, uh, I used to uh, think in this way, if they are calling us for prayer, why can't they stop with one or two minutes? They could say that this is what sickness, or this is what my, I could pray and I could finish it fast. Later I came to know that these people, they call not only to tell that they are sick, please to pray for us. They want to share what they have in their mind. Brothers and sisters, always keep in mind, Jesus is a good companion, good friend who can hear us, who can listen to us, who can respond to us. A person who is so close to our heart, a person who is moving with us, a person who is loving us. We always love the presence of people, whom, uh, the presence of people who love us. And people whom we love, we love the presence. We don't like the presence of everyone. Someone who is always uh, troubling us or always um, using hard words or people who are always blaming us. Sometimes we do not like their presence. But people who love us, people who encourage us, people who smile at us, people who always boost us, we like the presence of those people. My brothers and sisters, reading the signs of the time, our call is to become an another Christ. Just to tell people 
that i am with you we are with you in your struggle we are with you so all those people who are called to the family life the husband is called to tell your wife that i am with you in your struggles and difficulties the wife is called to tell your husband that i am with you in your struggles and difficulties an exchange of support an exchange of encouragement and ex an exchange of love and compassion my brothers and sisters that is the need of the time praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah in the gospel of john chapter 15 verse 13 the gospel of john chapter 15 verse 13 no one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friend brothers and sisters the great love that we can share with others is sometimes we may not we may not be we may not sacrifice our life for others we won't be able to be crucified for others but we won't be we will be able to share our time use our words in favor of others brothers and sisters this is our call by the lord to when we say that we are called to the companionship of christ we are called by the lord to love other people to love people around us to share our life with others that is what christian life is that is what the effect of our prayer is every day when we are participating adoration holy mass after all these things this is the boost this is the energy with this energy we are going to the practical field of life where we are sharing our friendship with so many others brothers and sisters life is a long journey it does not stop with one or two days it is a blessing of the lord it is a gift of god it depends on god's mercy that how far we are living how long we are living but to make that life more meaningful and beautiful by give, by being a good companion or friend to an another person that is something divine praise the lord praise the lord is, what is what is more important a life or what is purpose he say that that uh, what in a, in a journey we go many of us go for the uh, go for uh, what he call um, during the holy days uh, many of us take a break and go for outings and uh, vacation and go for long journeys what is more important in a journey is it the journey or the purpose or the play or the uh, aim what is more important destination or journey both are important but more important is the company with whom we are traveling am i right the company with whom we are traveling that is more important so brothers and sisters hold the hands of jesus as a companion till the end of our life that will give us a lot of boost saints like saint francis of assisi saint claire all these people they loved jesus so much as a good companion good friend good friend who is always with them this is what is expected from each and every christian to make a good relationship with jesus christ that is why jesus tells us that he is um, you are no more you are no more uh, servants you are called to become you are called to be my friends so my brothers and sisters that is what what is gospel gospel it, gospel is liberating words someone who is in a struggle he must be liberated is not it is not it is not teaching about um, uh, the, the rules and regulations in each and every country there is a legislative legislative body for each and every country there is there are rules and regulations there are people who take care of legal ways the gospel is something which liberates people from their difficulties so you and me we are called 
to become we are called to become liberators liberators pop john paul the second today we celebrate his feast pop john paul the second when he sent some missionaries uh, to different parts of the world there was a meeting and there was a mass celebrated for the missionaries who were starting their mission journey in different countries he told them he told everyone you are going to be missionaries well and good but how to preach the word of god how to preach the word of god preach the word of god with your life and he also instructed the the parents parents your children they may go to the church but the best bible that they are going to read is your own life is your own life the way you live the way you take care of things the the way you love them the way you behave that is the bible that they learn from you brothers and sisters let our life be a life with the gospel values let our life be a liberating presence for so many it is it can be in a different way it can be not by doing big things it can be doing small things just encourage people tell them well done and if someone is in difficulty tell them this, this time will pass away you will have a bright good time today i got an opportunity to talk with someone who is in real stress he was neglected by his family he was wounded by his friends and he has lost his job and he was in a terrible situation from far away he came here just to spend some time in prayer so brothers and sisters while i was talking with him i too really felt so sad to hear the life experience of him so he was telling me father i when I, while i was speaking to him i i could not give him any answer or i could not console him in any way because the sorrow that he had was so deep so i told him that don't worry things will be all right and i also these days whenever whoever calls me or comes here i tell them that you attend our evening services where we have holy mass holy adoration you will get a lot of consolation so you don't worry so he was while he was explaining about his life he, i was so sad to hear that but still i told him that don't worry things will be all right things will be all right it doesn't matter what is what is past is what is gone in past that is gone past is past look at the future this man was literally crying this man was literally crying then i asked him why are you crying i thought the words i said uh, was not consoling for him but he was telling me father this is what i was waiting for a long time a lot of failures everyone was so many people criticized me so many accused me for even things which i did not do i was waiting for a word that things will be all right okay fine you will will become you will be all right everyone was cursing me i have not had heard a good word in my life for a long time not from my uh, parents not from my uh, life partner not from my children i have not it heard of course i did lot of mistakes brothers and sisters this is not one person's experience this is experience of so many people we are all so uh, so fragile beings we can be broken at any time the brokenness and pain can happen to anyone at any time so by brothers and sisters the call of each one of us is to become a wounded healer a wounded healer years ago i have seen the moment uh, the souvenir of a priest who was uh, two years senior to me in the seminary and it, in, in his souvenir it is written 
டு பி ஏ வூண்டட் ஹீலர் டு பி ஏ வூண்டட் ஹீலர் தென் ஐ ஆஸ்ட் இம் வை யூ ரோட் இன் திஸ் வே தென் இஸ் டை மை செல்ஃப் இஸ் வூண்டட் இன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வெய்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ வோன்ட் ஐ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஐ நோ த பெயின் ஆஃப் வூண்ட் ஸோ ஐ வாண்ட் டு பிகம் ஏ வூண்டட் ஹீலர் when we celebrate the feast of saint john paul the second again it reminds us to become an another wounded healer he was a man who struggled a lot in the second world war and in the difficulties of those time he worked um, in a difficult situation but from all those life experience all those negative experiences all those difficult experiences he he brought a very good uh, philosophy and theology for people around that is to meet the people and share the love of jesus brothers and sisters today in this mass the lord is inviting us to understand the mystery of the friendship of jesus god bless